Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in dollar science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding monthly percentage difference using both Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard. This question mid has been asked in Amazon interviews and is a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer or software engineer interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, given a table of purchases by date, calculate the month over month percentage change in revenue. The output should include the year month date. So in this format and percentage change rounded to second decimal point and sorted from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. The percentage change column will be populated from the second month forward and can be calculated as this month's revenue minus last month's revenue whole divided by last month's revenue multiplied by 100. So we are given a data frame called SF transactions and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, the year month in this format and the revenue difference in percentage. And it should start from the uh, next or the second row, right? Or second month. Okay, so let's preview this transactions table or um, data frame. So you have various entries created at, so these are so year, month and day, and we need to convert this into year and month. And this is basically the revenue, right? And these are different purchase IDs. Okay, so obviously the first thing to do is to make sure that we convert this created at column from year, month, date, and so it is a date time, right? So you need to just convert it to year and date. And we have imported date time library as DT. And what we can do is SF transactions and we can make sure that, okay, this created at column, created at column is basically equal to, right? So SF transactions, right? Tra SF transactions column created at and then what we can you do is we strip type method of date time so dt dot strf strip time and we can provide okay we need to convert this into year and month so for year we write percentage capital y and dash percentage small m so it will convert it into a year month format so if i you know if i write sf transactions right sf transactions uh let me see what we have so now you look at it right so created at has been converted into year month format now what we can do is for each of these year month we can group by the created it and sum the value in this value column right it will give you that for each of the year month what is the total revenue right so what we can do is we can write dot group by and then group by created at and then from the column called value we need to calculate the sum it will give us total revenue and let's store this in a data frame called df and let me return df okay so if i run this so now you have various sum of values and why it does not have created add column because since we group by it is in the index so to have that as column we need to write dot reset index right now let me run this okay so you have various created at or year months and the total revenue once you have the total revenue you also need to have the previous value right because that is how you are going to calculate this revenue difference percentage right so it should be this month revenue so for this this month revenue minus the last month revenue that we can have in another column so what we can do is we can use dot shift method right so what we can do is df let's make a new column called previous value right so value is basically this this month's revenue so previous value is last month's revenue so previous value is equal to df column value dot shift by one so it means one row before it right let me you know have df right now and let's see what we have run this so now you have basically right so for this one the previous one is this for this one the previous one is this right so you have these values so once we have these values then what do we need to do we, the only thing that is left to do is calculate this uh, revenue difference percentage using the value and previous value so we can again make a new column let's call it like whatever is here right so revenue 
right so revenue different difference percentage is basically equal to df value right df value so just for use this formula this month's revenue so this month's revenue minus df previous value and that whole should be divided by so this whole comes into parentheses and should be divided by df of previous value right so now this gives you this fraction and then you need to multiply it by 100 right so let's multiply this entire thing 100.0 let's multiply it there and then what we need to do is we also need to round it to two decimal points right so what we can do is we can put this entire thing into parentheses and reuse dot round function round to two decimal places now once we have this let me run this again let's see what we have okay so now you created at this month's revenue previous month's revenue and re revenue difference percentage but we only need the two columns right created at and revenue difference and here created at is basically uh, renamed as year month right so here only we can use the dot rename function so dot rename what do you want to rename columns right columns is equal to and then we can provide the old value and the new value so old value is basically created at right old value is created at and this should be changed to year month now let me run this again this entire thing right so what will this give so now you have year month and revenue difference percent so you only can keep these two to do that we can you know provide the list of that okay you keep the year month column and on so keep the revenue difference right revenue difference percentage right let me run this so now once you look at it your output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to switch pass all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how we can solve this using mysql okay so if you look at it same question uh, table sf transactions expected output is again uh, table with two different columns year month and revenue difference percentage and sf transactions also has the same values right so here also what we can do is from this you know table called sf transactions we can group by right we can group by and we can convert this created at from you know year month date to year month using the function date format right so date format and then which column are we need to change the format created at and into what so percentage y for year dash percentage small m for month right and let's return that so let me copy it here paste it here and let's alias this as ym for now and then do the same thing that we did in python right so sum the value right and that would be the revenue of this month right so as revenue okay uh, once we have this then uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have right now so you have various year months and revenue right so once you have that then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression and then try to get another column which has basically the previous year months revenue right so let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right so this entire thing goes into parentheses and from this common table expression you know return both the columns return both the columns and let's create a, a third column using the lag window function so lag from the revenue right so lag from the revenue column and one before right so one before this and then since this is a window function we need to write over clause and you don't need to partition by or anything you just need to order by year month so that you know it is arranged in an ascending order and you just get the previous value so order by year month in ascending order and let's alias this as previous revenue right uh okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have so now you have year month revenue and previous years previous months revenue so once you have that then what we can do is we can save this into another common table expression so cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and now once you have those two columns then you can simply go ahead and calculate the percentage difference so from cte2 let's return 
right so let's return year month and it should be aliased as year month right so let's return year month as year month and then calculate this revenue difference percent so revenue difference percent again can be you know calculated using this formula so this is basically revenue right so revenue minus previous revenue right this whole thing should be divided by previous revenue right so divided by previous revenue right and once you have that then you need to multiply it by 100.0 why we are using 100.0 so that to avoid the integer division problem and once you have the fraction multiplied by 100 you need to round it to two decimal places right round it to two decimal places and alias this as revenue right as revenue difference percentage right and you need to order this by so order by year month in ascending order right so order by year month okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have so now various year months and revenue difference percentage and if you look at it you your output is same as expect expected output right so let's let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we're doing so not a very difficult question yes it is somewhat lengthy but what we had to do was we firstly we just need to change the format of the created act to year month because that is what we have in the output once we had that then for each of the year month we calculated the total revenue and once we had the total revenue we used the lag function in mysql and dot shift function in python to get the previous month's value and once we had the current month's value and the previous month's value then all we did was use the formula that was given to us in the question and to get the revenue difference percentage right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video